Hey guys, it's KJ48, and welcome back to my Space Engineers Let's Play. This is Season 1, and this is Episode 8. I have done a little bit of building off-camera, I believe. Uh, to tell you the truth, I'm not really sure what of this you've seen and what you haven't. But basically what I'm going to do here is, I am going to... This is going to be a three-wide hallway. Uh, maybe I should make the hallways. Nah, I'll make the hallways three-wide. Screw it. It's so much more work, though. But uh, I'm going to make a three-wide hallway going this way and this way. And I'm going to have them going into rooms. Uh, this room will be my crafting room. Uh, and as you can see right here, I'm using the interior walls uh, facing this way. I had it. There we go. Facing this way. And uh, yeah, those are going to be the walls. Actually, I could probably even put glass in there. Nah, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, so that's going to be the way I build. Uh, I'm not quite sure uh, what rooms I'm going to need in here. I know I'm going to need a, a crafting room. I know I'm going to need a control room. I'm thinking about a medical bay and a uh, an armory. Uh, other than that, I can't really think of anything else. Um, and I don't know which way to go with this build either. Um, I could go this way and this way. I'll definitely go this way. So let's uh, let's build some more out here. So let's just build the, the hallway for now. And uh, I've actually took a, taken a lot of time. Maybe we should make the hallway one wide. Making a three wide hallway is... It's just a lot of resources. Um, and besides, a space base should be somewhat cramped, right? I'm just saying that because I'm being lazy. But, uh, you know, there's only so much... Oh, jeez, that's going to float off now. Oh, wait, no, it's not because it's a space station. Now, if, that, if this was a... Um, if this was a ship, it would probably float off. Yeah, I'm gonna make this one. Oh, I shouldn't even knock those off. Eh, that's okay. Yeah, I'm gonna make the I'm gonna make the hallway one wide just to save on resources. It's gonna be quite a big space base, and uh, you know, I just I don't have all the resources and time in the world, so we'll do what we can. Maybe if we make one on the multiplayer server, we'll make it like really big. Uh, one thing I do want to go here is glass. Um, yes, you can make glass in this game. Let's see how. Uh, well, you know what? We should probably get some power to these refineries. Uh, the thing is, I don't know where I want to put the power for this uh, place. You know, let me think about where, how I want to lay this out, and uh, I'll be right back when I've thought of something. Okay. Uh, I've thought about it pretty hard and I'm thinking since this room right here the crafting room is going to be the thing that takes up most of the power I'm going to actually put the power uh, stuff behind this room and uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make this is gonna be a wall let me see this is going to be yeah so this will be a wall back here so let me uh, let me do this I get really get dis disoriented in this game like when I'm trying to like you know, when I get turned around and stuff, I get really disoriented. And that's going to be interior plates facing facing the other way. Facing that way. And that's going to be a wall of interior plates. <clears throat> and then what we'll do is we'll have a door right here. Actually, that's right up to it. Yeah, let's just have the door right here. Yeah, let's just put the door right here. Alright, so we'll put a door right here. And let's uh, let's make this plate right here. We're going to need more interior plates. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this to make it look cool. I think it's going to look pretty sweet, honestly. Uh, we need more interior plates. I think. We might have some more downstairs, but we're going to need more anyway, so let's just set some up and see if we have some down here. Mm -hmm. No, we actually don't. Okay, well that's good. So we need more. We need a lot more. We actually need a lot of these. So 77 will be good enough for our purposes down here. Uh, let's just, um, let's go ahead and make this. So this is going to be, now the only thing that's going to stink 
is the power room is not going to be the proper side of the interior wall. It's going to look like the hallway side, but that's okay. It is a power room. I can't imagine we're going to need more than one um, one reactor to power this entire station, but uh, I will leave, leave room for more just in case. Eight. Is it there? Um, yeah, that has to be like that. Yeah, it's good enough. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a door. We got, um, what do we got here? We got some doors. All right, number nine. Um, now, do we want the doors to be a certain color, or does it matter? Or, I don't know if it matters, to be honest. Uh, we should make our doors a different color. Let's see what color we can make the doors. Maybe, uh, black? Eh. White? Ooh, white looks pretty decent. Blue. Green. Actually, I will make this door red, since it's going into the power room. Okay, and let's put that back to silver so we don't accidentally put down something, you know, the wrong way later on. Uh, let's see what we need for the door. We need quite a few things for the door here. We need some metal grids, some steel tubes. And Actually, we don't need too much that we don't have. Make this interior interior wall as well. Um, yeah, this will be pretty cool. Okay, so then we'll put another interior wall right here. And that needs to face that way. And this way. Yeah. No, that'll work. That will work. So you'll come over here. And let's finish this up. We need metal grids, small steel tubes, display. Metal grid, small steel tube, display. Metal grid, small steel tube, which we don't have, and a display, which we don't have. Small steel tube and display. All right, we got to go in our ship anyway. Actually, I think this space base is going to look really cool. All right, small steel, small steel tube and display. We don't have either. All right, so small steel tube, we can use 100 of those. And displays, I'm not sure about displays. Actually, we, we can't do 100 of those, because I'm, eh, whatever, we'll just sit in the seat while they get made. Now, the only problem with uh, building, well, actually, it's not even really a problem, because I can change the color of stuff. I wonder what happens when you change the color of interior walls. I should probably be doing color stuff. Um, I'm going to stick away basic color idea though for now of uh outlines well maybe the outlines inside should be colored too oh boy i got a lot of work to do <laughs> all right let's put some of these away there we go actually this should probably be black. Oh man! All right, hold on. I gotta. I want to see something. All right. So let's say we put this down as as black. Okay. Let's see what that looks like. Because the bottom, the bottom uh, of of these uh, these rooms are supposed to be black. There's supposed to be black lining on the bottom, the top, and the. Uh, although that could just be from the outside. I should make them in the inside as well. Yeah, that looks cool. Okay, so, all right, so this is the way I want my, my, uh, this is the way I want this to look. So that'll be silver, silver. Um, okay, now how high does this need to be? Let me think about this. Uh, it needs to be even higher, much higher. Although I really should try and save on resources. them. Nope, nope, nope. That's not going to work. Um, we need... Alright, so we're going to be doing conveyors and tubes up here. Uh, so this will be a conveyor. This will be a conveyor. Six. Tube. 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 And conveyor. 
Okay, and then we need a collector, because this is, you know, this one. we have a ship over, over top. So that will be the roof. So basically, this will be the roof, and we'll come bring the ship over here and just crap out all the stuff we need. So this will actually be the roof. Now the roof, should the roof be made? No, the roof will not be made out of black. The roof will be, will be uh, whatever that color is, I guess like a silver. Silver, silver, silver. Now this will be black because that's the outline. Oh, and that's not supposed. To, well, no, that could be a, that could be a like armor gray block, or light armor block. Yeah. Okay, so. Oh, this is actually no, 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 no. This is going to be silver as well. You know what? I I'm just kind of like talking to myself here. Let me figure this out. I'll come back and explain it to you when I've got it all down. Be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I've got this straight in my head, and I'm going to try and explain it to you guys as simply as I can and try not to confuse you too much. Okay, now the way my space base is going to operate, there's going to be two different kinds of materials. There's going to be the, the light armor block, and there's going to be the interior walls. Now the interior walls are going to be any place inside the base, and the armor block is going to be any place that, touch, that touches space. Okay, now for the interior wall, the bottom part of it's going to be black. The middle three are going to be silver. And my hallway might not be this tall. Um, I might just make this one room this tall. And the other one's not as tall. But uh, I'll deal with those as we get to them. For now, this room is what I'm going to concentrate on. Um, so the bottom run is going to be black all the way around. The, the middle three are all going to be silver. And then the top one's all going to be black. Now on the outside, um, it's going to be all silver except for the... Um, the outlines uh, going across the top on the corner, going across the bottom on the corner, and going up and down on the outsides. And a lot of my walls where where space meets my my base are going to be too thick. Uh, there's nothing I can do about that. Um, I don't want interior walls on the outside. It just, I don't know, it really bothers me, although it's going to be a lot of work. Now, I know there is a mod out there that allows you to weld a lot quicker, and I'm going to look into that, and if I can get it to work, I'm going to use it, because this is taking way too long for what I want to do, and, uh, you know, it's just rough. Um, it's, just, it's just really difficult for me. Uh, so I'm going to do a little bit of building here while we're talking, or while I'm talking and you're listening, and uh, we'll try and get this situated. So right here, we need to finish this door for sure. Um, we have everything we need and it is built enough that's good enough let's open it up all right so that open damn it it has no power you can't open if it has no power okay fair enough um so the floor is going to be right along here okay okay and i uh, i'm going to need Oh, I was going to use small reactors, but I guess I should use a large reactor. Yeah, why not, right? Large reactors, shit. Why not? I mean, I think one large reactor will be enough for this whole base. And the thing is, if I need to expand the large reactor, uh, I can just tear down some, like... Basically, I think one large reactor will be more than enough to power this base. And if it's not, I can always tear down some walls and add another large reactor. Won't be a problem. Because of where I'm putting it, this spot is open, uh, so I can do that. Nine. Is that where I want it? Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, let's take care of our life support system so we don't die. Uh, actually, it probably makes most sense to go into this cockpit. It's the easiest one to get into. Yeah, I can't imagine... Uh, actually, we should just take this down there. First thing we should do is turn off the connectors. Off. Off. Okay. So it doesn't throw stuff out next time we decide to go mining. Bring this down here. Alright. Back it up a little bit. Okay. So, um, you know what, this thing can probably go right here, honestly. Let me just see how I want to do this. 
I can't tell how close it is to the wall. I don't want it directly against the wall. Not that it really matters. I guess I could have it directly against the wall. But we do need it facing the proper way. And, uh, yeah, that'll work. Alright, we're going to need quite a bit of things for those. Uh, honestly, I just want to get this hooked up so I can get power to these refineries. So let's get this, uh, let's get this thing online right away. Alright, so what do we need? We need a lot of steel plates, computer motor, reactor components. We need 2,000 reactor components. That's going to be the, the hardest thing. Let's see what we have down here first. I don't think we... I, I know I saw some motors, some reactor components, maybe some girders. I don't know. Let's just take everything. And then we put it all in there. Okay, that was it for the motors. Um, I think that was it for the motors. Let's see. That's it for the motors. Do you need metal grids? I don't think we need thruster components. I don't know if we need any delay any uh, displays. No need more motors. Um, these. Okay, so we're gonna need steel plates, large steel tubes. We need quite a bit of those. Uh, we still need a lot of re reactor components. Honestly, the reactor components are the biggest thing. Let's go start getting those made. I can't believe you need 2,000, that's a lot. Reactor components. And we do not have enough gravel or silver. Oh boy, um, gravel shouldn't be a problem. I mean, I probably have a lot of stone somewhere. But let's uh, let's go inside and see what we could find in here. So that's what you need. A lot of people ask me what you need stone for. Well, that's what you need, for, that's what you need stone for, guys. Um, all right, so I need Gravel turns into stone, just saying. Uh, gravel, gravel and silver. Gravel and silver. Shoot. I don't see any silver. Damn it. Platinum, magnesium, gold, silicon, uranium, iron. All right, let's go ahead and get some silver. And the inventory's full. So let's, uh, let's clear that inventory out, shall we? For now, I'm just going to dump everything in here. Silver. <sighs> Freaking silver. So what I could do is I could go out and hijack a ship. Um, I don't think I have enough time to do it though. We'll get a lot of reactor components from a ship. Maybe. Could do that. Seven minutes left in the video, I probably could do that. All right, let's go hijack a, sh a ship. Now, okay, so here's what I don't like about this game, and I really wish they, w I w really wish they would change it. Uh, first of all, let's see if there's a ship in the area. I didn't even think to look. Um, I don't see any ships. You know what? There might not be any ships to hijack. All right, maybe I won't hijack a ship. Okay, but here's the problem, though. You can fly to a ship just in this jetpack. You can go as fast as any ship. Actually, you go faster in this jetpack than you do flying a ship. And you can go out and hijack a ship, and basically you can have your inventory completely empty. That way, if you die, you have lost nothing. I find that kind of a problem. I think you should have to take a ship somewhere. I don't think you should be able to go that far in just your jetpack. I don't know how they could... I don't know how they can fix that. I'm going to go look for silver while I'm talking. I don't know how they can fix that, but they need to fix it. Um, you know... Uh, ships should matter a lot and uh, you shouldn't be able to just go in your jetpack uh, anywhere like the thing is uh, th they want you to have a lot of um, a lot of power in your jetpack uh, so you don't have to go back and refill it all the time but with the with that problem is if you um if you just keep going in one direction you could get a lot of speed in a jetpack so I, I don't really have the answer but I kind of hope they fix it I don't I don't like totally understand how uh, space flight works, but I'm under the impression that if you just keep going in one direction and keep your jetpack on, you should be able to get quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of speed. All right, I think this is silver. Oh, easy there, chief. Is this silver? Yeah, I think that's silver. Uh. 
drill. Oh, we still have a bunch of stuff on our drill. Oh, no, that's stuff we just got. I'll bet. Yeah. So that is silver. Okay. Yeah, but if you um if you hijack a ship, though, and you take apart their large reactor, you get a lot of reactor components. The problem is they don't always have large reactors in them. I do see a mining transport ship, but uh, now it's a little too late. I'm not going to bother. Um, I will be hijacking a ship in a coming episode. I'm just not sure when. Maybe next episode. We'll see. Who knows? I will be doing more of this mining off camera. Mining t turn tends to like lag my game as well. Uh, like it gets to the point where my game's really slow. I still get good frame rate. Frame rate's not an issue, but uh, the game actually slows down. Um, it's like some weird lag I've never seen before, but uh, it happens in this game. It's a known issue. Uh, it happens a lot when I mine. So I try not to do too much mining on video um, because it's also kind of like boring. Um, although when I make my six my six drill mining ship, you guys are gonna like. You guys are gonna like. Whoa, that's awesome. You're just gonna flip. It's gonna be so cool. Wow, that's actually quite a quite a good amount of silver silver already. Um, I should probably just take this back. Yeah, I'm gonna take this back. I should have mined some more, but the thing is, I want to get this silver. Um, I want to get this silver all made. I want to get that reactor up before this video is over. All right, where are we? We need to go to the sun, and the sun is this way. That's one thing we need to make is a freaking beacon. Oh, you know what? I'm going to have to make a beacon before I go for a ship, guys. Man, I'm, thank God I didn't go for a ship. I never would have found my way back. Ooh. That would have been bad. Looking good. So now we turn that on, turn that on. And just to get this going a little bit faster, we're going to actually go into the drill and take out the silver. Because the silver needs to be made now. Silver. There we go. Now we should be getting a lot of these made. It's probably full. Missing items. Alright, still missing silver. Hello, silver! Where the hell is the silver? Come on, I should be making some silver already. There's the silver. Why isn't it using the silver? All right, that's annoying. All right, so what we got to do is we just take this silver. Um, from the refinery and put it there. There we go. All right, fair enough. We fixed that up pretty good. All right, this inventory is going to get full pretty soon. So let's, uh, let's take a bunch of these out and go place them down on the reactor. Come on, man. Kind of kill me. There we go. And there we go. We still need a lot of reactor components, a lot of steel plates. Um, actually, not too many more steel plates, but a lot of reactor components. We still need those large steel tubes. Let's uh, let's see how many more we got here. Still not enough silver. All right, so what we're doing here is we have two separate inventories here. This is our personal inventory, and this is the connected inventories of the ship or station I'm on. So I can uh, click on this and then come down here. And the refinery and the assembler are actually hooked up, so they should be sharing resources, but they're not. So I'll just move them over there by hand. Okay, 
Do we really need 500 more? Jesus. It seems a bit off. I think I'm making too many. Inventory, my inventory. Take these out. Let's take these out as well. Oh, you know what else we're gonna need? Um, some large steel tubes. All right, that's enough of these for now. Let's make the large steel tubes. Oh, we can't carry anymore. All right, so we still need. Yeah, we still need about 700 more reactor components. Huh. Need quite a bit. All right, so let's set up another 700. Jesus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inventory here. Move the silver over. Um, ooh, is it done with the silver yet? No, we still have quite a bit of silver ore to be manufactured, so this is just taking a while, but uh, there's not much we can really do about it. I'm actually... My uh, timer went off quite a, quite a while ago, so I'm actually going to call this one here. And uh, you guys see what I'm doing here. I'm going to finish this reactor um, off camera. You see exactly what I need here. I need more steel plates, computers, reactor components, large steel tubes. Uh, well, I don't need large steel tubes anymore. It's just mainly reactor components and steel plates. So I'm going to finish this up in between videos, and uh, that's going to do it for episode 8. We'll see you next time for episode 9. Until then, take it easy.